Welcome to episode 21 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we will learn about how to implement infinite scroll in Live Wire 3. I want us to go, to go ahead and create a post model. So here in our terminal, I'm going to run the command php artisan make model. php artisan make model. I want us to make a post model and I want to tag migrations. I also want to tag factories. So you click enter. That command you create for us the model, migration and factory. I would like us to open up models. And inside here we have the post model. Really, we, I do not want us to do anything here because we will not be creating any posts. I want us to go to our um, the other thing that has been created, which is factories, the post factory. And inside here, I want us to do several things. So inside return, I want us to have a title. And this one, we can just have it as a fake sentence. Fake sentence. Like that. And then the other thing that I would like us to have is a description. <laughs> Of course, in a post, probably you will have the post body, but this one I would not like. I do not want us to go into that. I just want us to have the title and description. So for this one, we are going to have fake uh, paragraph like that. And then that will be it, whatever it is that you'll be doing here. So we'll have a title and some short uh, paragraph for a description. I would also like us to go into migrations. The last migration that we have. And uh, inside here, I want us to have two columns. So on top of whatever it is that we have, we're going to have table table with a data type of a string this will be the title like that and then of course we can be able to have another one maybe we can call it we can have it having a data type of text which we have called description like that i would like us to go to cedars that is the database seeder and inside here i would like to just change our app models user to app models post and what is happening here as you can see we ha we are calling app models post factory and we are creating a thousand posts in this case after that we need to migrate this table that we have created so i'm going to run the command PHP artisan migrate. Once the migrations have been done, I'm going to seed the, the posts inside our post table. So I'm going to run the command PHP artisan db seed like that. That is good enough. We have been able to seed our users in the database. I would like us now to go ahead and create a live wire component. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the command PHP artisan make live wire. The name of our component, let me call it all posts like that. I will hit enter. And of course, it will create for us the live wire class and also the live wire view. Inside our live wire class, let us open up live wire and we have all posts. 
I want us to do several things. The first thing I want us to do is uh, for us to be able to load our um, posts. So in this case, I can say posts like that. It will be given by the post model. And then I want us to paginate. And as we paginate, inside the pagination, we are going to pass in the number of um, posts that we want to have in a single page. So what I'm going to do, I can just uh, type in here, posts this, this, posts uh, per page, something of that sort. And since these we are using it as a property, I need us to declare a property here, which we are going to call public and then posts underscore per underscore page like that. After that, we also need to ensure that we have uh, imported our post model. So I'm going to say use app models post like that and on top of that since we are using pagination we will also be able to use the live wire with pagination so use live wire uh, with pagination like that and this will be able to pass for us our posts. Of course, I need to close this one here. And then also inside our return view, I can be able to pass our post. So inside here, we can have a comma, a comma here. And inside here, we can have uh, posts set to whatever it is that we have created above here which we are calling posts the variable we will save and everything is fine up until where we are at i would like us to go to the view and be able to load the posts so let us um, open all posts inside um, views live wire all posts and inside here, what I want us to do is to have a card that will be displaying our post. So maybe here we can just say posts or blog posts, something like that. And then inside here, I would like us to have the loop. So what I'm going to have is um, at for each, at for each, um for each posts as posts and we can have end for each and inside here i want us to list our posts and what i want us to do i would like us to use a card a bootstrap card and if you go to getbootstrap.com, you will find that there is a card that looks like this. This is uh, the HTML for it. I like to just go ahead and copy it. And I will paste it inside here. And of course, inside the header, I want to just have the loop of the index. So in this case, it can assist us to know which post uh, index we are dealing with or relatively to whatever it is that we have in our database. So here I want to pass loop index and then inside this place where we are having h5 for the title this is where I want to pass our title so here I can pass in a post title like that and down here where we are having that the paragraph tag is where i would want to pass our description so we are going to have post and then description 
like that. After that, I would just like to see if everything is okay. But of course, we need to have a, a, um, a route for that. So here, I can, I, we can just copy what we have here. And our class is all posts. And then we are going to create the posts route here. So I can be able to copy this one downwards. Let me call these posts. And then this one should be all posts class like that. So if we attempt to visit posts, if we attempt to visit posts here, we have an issue because there's something I've remembered. I did not, uh, even before we wait for it to tell us, I need to set the posts per page to a specific number because currently I'm passing nothing. So let me set them to 10 and then refresh and see. And I think there is still another problem I have not been able to use with paginators. So let me go ahead and do that. So with pagination, and then we need to use this trait here. So here I'm supposed to say use, and then with pagination like that. Now if we refresh, we will be able to display the 10 posts. As you can see, we have them here. We can be able to scroll through. So um, after that, probably maybe I can be able to do a little bit more and uh, maybe size these cards to be able to be a little bit centered. So let me try and do that. And uh, maybe inside our old post blade, I can just add inside the card an offset of uh, three and column of uh, six to be able to sort of style our card to look a little bit nicer, maybe a little bit centered. Yes, something of that sort. But even it's not because of this, we let it just remain like that. So as you can see what we are having, we are having um, 10 users being displayed. I mean 10 um, posts being displayed. And now as we scroll up until the end, we are not loading any more of the posts. But infinite scroll uh, demands that now when we reach this end of this uh, page, we can be able to get more posts. And that is what I want us to handle. So let us go to all posts and be able to modify something. I want us to have another function here, which I'm going to call load more. That is, once this function is called, we can be able to increment the number of posts that we have. So public function uh, load more, like that. And inside here, what I want us to do, I just want us to increment our posts per page uh, at um, property. So we can say this posts underscore per underscore page. And remember it is um, whatever variable that we have above here, we declared it and the initial one was 10. So in this case, we can say the posts per page, we can be able to increment them by a specific number. We can say maybe add six of them like that add six of them and then now after after that we need to have communication between our page between our view between our view and um, these uh, load more uh, uh, method and what we are going to do we will use events and for me to be able to notice that we have actually reached the end of the page that we are loading, I will use um, inertia, I mean Alpine JS. I will use Alpine JS intersect plugin 
to be able to launch for us an event which we can be able to listen to it here. So let us go to allpost.bled and down here I want to add a div. After we are finished looping through whatever it is that we have, down here I want us to have another div. And we will close that div. And then what I'm going to write here is that which will enable everything to work for us. So what I'm going to do is x intersect and then we are going to in this case uh, just go ahead we will not even launch an event we will just call the load more uh, function so here I'm going to just say wire dot load more just that and as you can see it is possible to um, hit a method by um, just using wire and then calling the method direct and also maybe in this case if it was a button then maybe you could be able to have the at click the wire click handler and then be able to handle it like that so let me save and then we see what is going to happen if we attempt to uh, scroll downwards so let me go back to our page and maybe to just give it perspective i would like to inside our all posts change the number of pages that are, are loaded at the beginning let me i mean the posts that are loaded at the beginning let me set them to three and then when i refresh i can see we are just having three posts only in fact i can even change them to two let them be just two posts and then we will be increasing by a specific number as we have indicated in our method so now we have it like that and um, are they two or are they three yes we have zero one these ones are i think they are three is okay so let us go ahead and see what we can be able to do when we scroll now once we have it like that i want us to attempt to scroll downwards now you can see it's increasing the number and as we reach the end there is a small glitch but then at least it continues and we can be able to continue scrolling our page all the way downwards and this feature is usually implemented for example for the social media sites like uh, facebook where you can be able to scroll the stories all the way and or twitter or whatever it is that you are working with so basically um, as we can be able to test our application you can see that all those um, values are being loaded as we attempt to load them and of course if we go back upwards you can be able to go all the way as fast as possible and now because they have been loaded already whatever it is that we have you can just be able to have a smooth uh, scroll uh, that way thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell by doing this you'll be notified when i upload another awesome video if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up and share you are welcome to engage in the comment section. Thank you.